Welcome back everyone today I have another video and I, I was trying I'm trying Flamingo today uh, I want to I've been in a really enjoying this car in general so I wanted to see if it can revive like Flamingo and it is a really good car and the way I thought about it was like you get to uh, play a lot of creatures early defend them and then um, when you play the Kaido refill your hand and then be really like keep the aggression going uh, in theory that works in practice it doesn't work as well now let's address the Usopp here this Usopp is the new Usopp they just don't have the image here so I'm gonna use it here and I'm gonna post uh, an image of the Usopp here so you can see what card it is actually it is a new card that is really hard to get but you don't even have to get at the moment really the card didn't like it wasn't that special that you need to get this card so if you don't want to play this you want to play another card instead of this like a 2k counter or whatever the case uh, even the 3,000 source could be really good here. Uh, but this is meh. It's whatever. It, 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 it is not needed for the deck to function. Uh, but I wanted to try it out because it works. Like it, you look at the top five and you're able to set up the, the deck. So that's why I wanted to see it. Now, uh, in terms of the deck, the decks, we already know what the deck does. Uh, it is a um, play cards from the top of the deck. Uh, the Warlers. Uh, I'm going to zoom it on so you can see the cards. Uh, the decks is the same, doing the same. The problem is that removal is more prevalent right now. And there is a lot of good removal right now. Like, the way it was good before Flamingo, it was because you could defend your cars aggressively and then you can keep those cars and apply the pressure, right? But as soon as they remove your cards, you are not as good anymore. Like, yeah, you get to play cars for free out of the top of the deck, but you get double tax on each attack because they are going to attack the card that you play. You have to pitch a car, and then they're going to remove the car. And then you keep losing resources and resources uh, trying to keep up with the opponent. And it's not that easy. It's really difficult. And your only form of removal, like your best form of removal, is going to be by battle. I'm playing a car also. And that's not as efficient anymore. And then, yeah, you get to play the Kaido. But then when you're behind on board, the Kaido is not as good as it could be like when you're ahead like if you're able to stable support defend it by battle and play a kaido you win the game absolutely there is no question about it but um if you're behind the kaido doesn't solve the issue and i think the uh that's why you have to still probably play a like a, a, a mihawk or something like that but i still wanted to play the deck i, I was uh, excited to try something like this uh yeah well it just goes into okay. gameplay uh we're gonna play against Karakuri. or han here couldn't be better so if there is a way that we can win this matchup, is this one. And hopefully we can. Triggers depending, of course, here. And I think this is just a bad matchup, but we're still going to try. Defend, um, play cards, and just keep playing cards. I'll pace our opponent here. Don't have a Thunderbolt, please. Anything but the Thunderbolt. Even a Beige I would take. Okay, sure. Alright, let him go. Now we have to defend this board. Which is not that difficult. Well, actually, never mind. It is kind of difficult. So I'm just going to let it die, it's fine. Take it. Oh, he doesn't want to attack her. That's great. Let me tell you. You know what? I'm okay with this result. Because now we have... Uh, place on top we have this we have this oh this is great this is what we want oh if there's a way that we win this matchup is this one because <laughs> now whatever he plays we bottom deck it and then we bottom deck it again and we win the game oh yeah that one dice <laughs> Unless he bottom decks one of our lives. Which, you know what? I'm okay with that. A 
and then we get back uh, Boa Hancock because he's a blocker. And then we have extra life, so I'm okay with this. He's gonna play a big mom. We bottom deck it, and we feel okay about this. I wish I had a. Hold on. I guess we have to combo with this. Oh, we had the Perona. Okay, perfect. So we have to attack for five. And then we go Perona. Uh, let's play this big dude. Let's play the Jimbe. Draw 2k counters. Uh, we're going to try to tempo the opponent here. Okay, this is the game we win against Kikarakuri. It's not the it's not the best matchup, let me tell you. But it is the matchup where we're gonna win this time. Uh sure, I'm just gonna no blocker combo here. Sure. We go seven, this one which is easier. See the Thunderbolt, we go seven, we go seven, and you know what, let's go get Komoria, get Komoria, get back uh, Aboa, and a turn, let him go. We're gonna block this one. Oh, he has another one? Okay. Well, lovely. You know what? I'm gonna let it die because uh, he's gonna play another one, so might as well just attack for sevens and everything else. Uh, just attack for sevens. Actually, I should have. In case of the Thunderbolt. Nah, that's my bad. Don't have Thunderbolt, please. Okay, at least he's not doing it on the leader on the blockers. See if three if we can beat three big moms. Let him go. This is all we have. If we cannot beat big, uh, well, I mean, three big moms is hard to beat, but. If we cannot beat this deck with this draw, there is just no way that we can beat this deck. We don't have an answer for like a blocker, however. He goes search Thunderbolt. No, he goes Big Mom, but that doesn't matter anymore. Sanji, but okay, Sanji is good. But I don't think you have. I mean, we're just going for game. It's not a matter of if you do or you don't. Uh, I guess I cannot stop this, so might as well just let him die. Uh, you know what? Actually, I can't stop this. Just block it. And then I have three attackers here. Uh, no. We're gonna no blockers. One, two, three. We're going for game next turn, brother. Tag, draw for nine. And then attack for 10. And hopefully this is enough, or 12, or whatever the case is. 11. Yeah, if you have there enough, I mean, you got me. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Uh, you played three big moms. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play against. Uh, we're gonna play against uh, this guy. Um, we're not gonna go. Go ahead. What we're gonna do is we're not gonna attack him. Uh, it seems like it's a bad idea, but it's not. Trust. We're gonna take that one, and we're just gonna let him go. We're gonna play this guy. Let him go. We don't need to attack him early on because he's just dropping his hand, so he's dying to attack me. To just uh, take some cards and attack me and defend his guys. So I can just take it a little bit slower. I just need to build my board. And then we beat 
All right, let's get the Jinbe out so we can uh, develop our board. And then we'll go get Komoria, get back the Jinbe, play the Perona, and then let's get some cards on top. Uh, let's get the Jinbe, let's get the 2K Connors. Um, and Jinbe's are really good right now. So you know what, let's get more 2K Connors to the hand and then that will be fine. Let him go. And then I don't have, I just have to out combo the leader and that's it. But I have a board now that I can contest his board, which is what's important about this. And I'm gonna combo because I want him to attack with the cards in his board. The more time that we get, the more dragons that we're going to be able to play, the better it is for, for us. Then let's play this one. Let's place it at the top in case he doesn't attack us. We can... Um, Red Rock his thing, play Mihawk and draw. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let him go. And if he doesn't, then we just get to attack with Kaido. Just block, he's fine. We attack with everything into the leader and then we play Kaido. And that's fine with me. If he doesn't attack, I'm okay with that. If he does attack, I am okay with that. This is acceptable because we do have a uh, red rock here. And then we have... We can just attack with everything here. We don't have to play anything out of life, so it's fine. And we just get to play cards for free here. And next turn, we're going to just dump, dump our hand and draw more cards. And it should be okay for us. This is how kind of you have to play against this leader. Because of how they play. If not, they go super hard you with the small creatures and then they remove your cards and then it becomes really difficult for you to uh, to go for game. But now here I will just defend my leader with everything I have. Alright, uh, well, he, he will go for game next turn. So maybe playing the blocker was good there last turn. But we have two blockers, I guess, we can play. Um, so this is not the worst. And then we have enough for... I think he's looking for like a Diablo Jumbo or something like that. Or like a Rush guy. But we don't have anything for the Diablo Jumbo. I think this is all we, all we have. So if he has it, he has it. I like a Rush unblockable Luffy. Yeah, I think he's just looking for a card that has unblockable. Play it at the top. And then let's just play this guy and let him go. If he has a clock card that has unblockable, he wins. But that's about it. 
That also hurts. <laughs> I guess I should have played two Kumas. That's my bad. Or he goes the Luffy way. Yeah. Hi, we're going first and we have Perona, so definitely keep. And this should be a good matchup for us. Uh, oh, Kaido. Okay. This is uh, just great. We'll do this. This. Wait, we'll draw this one. Play this one. Draw this one. Play this one. Uh, sounds about right. I think they cannot be. He should not be able to, to win this matchup. Uh, if I lose this one, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> that draw, this draw is going to be perfect. We played two Gekko Morias. And we have an answer for the first card that he plays. That's too much value. And then on top of that, we get to... Uh, we get to... Um, uh, play a 10-drop Kaido. That's just too much value. I don't think... There is many decks that can beat this draw, to be honest. And we'll take the damage, because... We just want to protect our cards. Uh, just in case of any triggers out of life. Attack here. And then let's force some interaction here. He does have a trigger there. Okay. Let's play another one. And uh, the, uh, the pressure starts amounting pretty quickly. And then let him go. He does do the blast breath, however. Attacks for six into our guy. We are definitely going to combo to that one. Oh, that sucks. He does have an answer for that. I guess. It's not the greatest thing for me, but I mean, it's fine. Definitely want to kill the, the ramping guy. And then we keep going here. Top. Let's just keep playing cards that we can play. That's it. Uh, let's draw 2k Connor. We'll draw this later. We're going to draw this anyway. So we're going to play Kaido next turn. And then play this. See if he blocks or takes it. One, two. Oh, he's going to be able to play Yamato. So he might take it. And Yamato kills one of our things. So... It's not bad for him. Oh, that sucks, actually. I mean, not in the sense that I'm not going to be play able to play this one, but in the sense that I'm not going to be able to play the card on top of my deck. Uh, I guess I'm not going to have time to play this one, at least. Okay. We knew this could happen. We're just gonna have to do this this way. Then we go Red Rock. And then we go attack with Flamingo into this guy, I guess. I guess I could have done 6 6. Why not? Let him go. We're both trying to keep up our board. He's gonna play a big dude though. I guess I'll use my gym as a blocker, right? You know what? It's fine. You got him. out of cards here so it's gonna be fine and then attack for five and then we have the red rock for this guy
Let him go. Red Rock and maybe play something out of the leader. And then play a dragon in between. Uh, yeah, let's just combo. He's gonna play a 10 drop too. I mean, I'll take that one. Might play another crocodile here. Okay, that's what I thought he was gonna do. Uh, let's just attack. You know what? Let's just get rid of this guy because this guy's pressure. But let's do Perona, so we can play a blocker here on top. Blocker, draw 2k. Uh, then let's play Jinbe and then draw 2k. Maybe. And then we attack for 6. Play a car. See if he wants to combo out of that one. Let's destroy that one, or give me the blocker. I don't want him to combo out of that one. Then let him go. Get rid of one of them. It's going to be really good for me. He's been smart at keeping up this guy as pressure. Because it does really keep me uh, a little bit busy here. Uh, no. If he wants to attack it, he has to attack it with a big number. Uh, no. That's fine. I'm okay with this. I don't play anything here. Okay, okay. This could be fine. Does he have a... What did he search? Another one? She can her search herself? Oh, yeah, she can. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, so he healed something out of me. That's great. The, I'll take that. I guess I'll do this. Then I'll do... I think I have to attack this guy. Because uh, I don't want to have to deal with him. He can defend this one. But he cannot defend this one. So I just want to get rid of the pressure. Because it's, it's a lot. It's hard to get uh, very, very, very difficult to uh, to deal with him. And he also has to be careful of like, just not dying to the random dragons to the face. Although, I don't think it's going to be a concern for him. He gets a uh, Missile Sunday. He's going to heal a little bit. But now, this is a problem for him. Because, is he going to attack with this? Then lose him? The next turn? Ooh. This is a problem. Yep. So we go lose that one. And then, yeah, <laughs> just I just need to remove some of his pressure and that's it. Uh, but yeah, from here, we just get attack, attack with the Kairos. And then, um, oh, he, need, he needed to cycle. That's why he needed to cycle. Then we go 5-5. Five, five. He plays a Yamato next turn, but he loses the game in the, in the long run. And we're going to play a blocker and we're going to attack for 6. And I think that should be enough to close this game. Okay, All right, we're gonna mulligan. Uh, this hand doesn't have anything, but it's fine, I guess. Perona, one turn to lay. Oh, the red rock, eh? I guess this is fine. I'll take the first damage. 
Uh, we do Perona here. Again, place at the top. Let's play the Boa Hancock. We said we can defend it. Let's play Jinbe and put it like this. Let him go. And then we have, well, we'll see what we have. But I'm gonna play on curve. Although if he has the the Pauli, that's really good for him. Blockers are good too here. Uh, we'll definitely come out of this one because we get to draw cards. And um, I mean honestly, just keep playing cards. Cause I wanna, I wanna get the um, well first cards out of his hand, and second I wanna develop a lot of bodies here. So I can do a red rock next turn, and that's gonna be really good for us. He's gonna play a ten drop Kaido. We're gonna red rock the ten drop Kaido. Although I, I think he already saw the the red rock, so I mean it should be just fine to. I guess it's fine. Yeah, you got it. Unless he can't KO these two, it doesn't matter. Sure. Not that big of a deal. Take that one. Come out of this one. And then uh, get a queen, okay. He's gonna play a Kaido eventually, that's the issue. Let's get bottom deck that one. Attack this one. Attack this one. Let him go. This is not great because the Kaido will be good here. Yeah, as I thought, the Kaido will, will be good here. I knew that much. Uh, I do have to combo to this too. Oh. Uh, well, it's just gonna be a, a rough one here. I don't know how I will get out of this one. Because he has enough Connors here. And he has outpaced me very well. No, I don't think I can. Kaido beats me. Well, also that I haven't been able to play any cards early on. So that does also not help. Okay, we're gonna go first up against this deck, oh, but we didn't get anything, so that sucks. And but we're gonna do the good old blind going, blind flamingo hit. See if we get it. No, we didn't. Fair enough. Okay. Yikes, this is gonna be a problem. Because we don't know the top of our deck at all. And we don't have a way to get it either. So we're gonna try to get six here. And then seven. I mean, put this guy down, let him go. And we'll go from there, I guess. He's gonna attack for five, 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 five. Oh, that's be terrible for me. I mean, I do have a lot of two K counters, so yes, it will be bad for me. But we might still be able to to get away with with things. I guess I'll combo a five. But you say all these cards are able to attack here, so this is bad for me. I might have to just ignore this, to be honest. I cannot ignore this. 
Uh, <laughs> okay, that's a good draw, though. Uh, will allow me to do this. Place it at the top. Play another Gecko. Draw two Ks. Play this, 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 this way. I like it. Play another Gecko. Uh, this one. Get a 2k Connor back, which is the most important thing in this matchup. Say if he combos out of this one, because I will attack it again. Uh, I, I have to attack these cards. These cards are too uh, problematic for me. I think we can outgrind him. Uh, we just need to... Because we have a 10-drop Kaido, we can build the board and then... Um, uh, just draw a couple of cards and, and beat him on on, on on that end, right? Because we have a lot of 2k counters. Oh, I thought this was the other... <laughs> I don't know why I thought I had the other one. But that's fine, I guess. So I should have combo out of the first one with a different 2k counter. Uh, I thought this was the other Gekko Moria for some reason. The art for the Gekko Moria. So the first turn, I messed it up. I should have combo with something else. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I definitely should have combo with like um, a 2k counter, like the Mihawk. I think I had the Mihawk to combo early, like on the first turn. And then I should have played this Gekko Moria. I, I don't know why I thought my Gekko Moria was something different. Uh, but here I will defend my cards aggressively because I want to uh, end the game with Kaido. I think will be the best option for me. Although, I mean, I guess he's going to kill here. So, yeah, I mean, I cannot defend that one. But I hopefully can defend this one. Let's see, uh, depending on what he does here. Brook is an annoying card because he gets to uh, develop something else and attack. So it's definitely something that I don't want to see. Mm, no, I'll keep the this, that guy. I think he's good enough for right now to buy me enough time. Oh, that's obnoxious, but I have to block it. If not, he just gets too far ahead. I'll attack uh, this one, use action, play. Then attack this one. Uh, next turn, we'll be able to play the dragon. Yes. Hmm. Let him go. This is terrible, but I don't have any other option here. Just defend and play the dragon, I think, is my best option. Because I cannot play any of these cards. That's the issue. I would have played something else, but I just couldn't play any of them. Maybe I should have combo with the Mihawk. The nice thing is he's going to try to poke me out, but I do have the Kaido, so... Like, the poking is not going to be that big of an issue. But I do want to have more cards than my opponent. Or else he's just going to get me late game. Take that one, and then hopefully he doesn't have a Zoro. Okay. That's fine. So I'll just attack this one. Attack this one. And then draw a couple of cards. Let him go. So now we have Revitalize or Han. And he's looking better than ever. Actually, actually, very good because we have Boa Hancock now. He does have a Radical Beam now. Annoying. Because he can revive the Marco. But he has to attack me this Gekko Moria for a big number too. So again, it's not it's not looking terrible for me. But you know what? I'm just gonna ignore his board and I'm just gonna attack him. Because he keeps playing these annoying cards 
to annoy me, and I'm just gonna, I'm tired of it. I'm fed up with it. I'm just gonna attack his board. Uh, I should come out of this one. Sure. And then, um, I guess a second Kaido would be actually very, very good. But I'm, I'm fed up with it. I'm just going to attack his board. A second Kaido will finish the game. Next turn. Let him go. Try to push to game here. With these cards, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Next turn, I'm going for game. Keep attacking his cards will be a, a waste of my resources. And he keeps playing his 2k counter, so might as well just keep attacking his leader. Like, he's just creating blockers here that I... It's gonna be hard to deal with them, so... Might as well just... Not. Now, to be fair, I don't have that much counter. Like, 2k counters. I only have one 2k counters and a bunch of 1k's. So, it's gonna show. Hopefully, he po tries to poke me out. Out of the game. But, um, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, that's just what I wanted. Trying to poke me out. That's the way. That's the way I win this, this main, this game. Because every done he does is like three done on mine. Oh, that sucks. He's trying to go for game two. Uh, definitely have to combo out of that one. No, like, no, let's not give him a reason to think that we don't have enough. Which we really don't have enough, but he doesn't know that. If he attacks for six, he will find out that I don't have enough. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four, five, I guess. I have to protect myself here. That was unlucky. Oh, wait. We do have enough for that one. <laughs> I guess this is was less damage. And then we go for a game here. Uh, and, um, yeah. And the rest on the leader and go for game. Oh, I was worried for uh, something there, but hard to tell. He had the Diablo Jambo and two Radical Beams, so yeah, that was good for me. All right, and as you might remember, this that matchup is really bad for us, but we do get to get the dragon, so we're gonna go second. That's gonna end up better, being better for us. And um, I just want to play my guy. I don't want to take damage, but it's fine here. Two dragons, three dragons. Okay, now I have to be aggressive defending here. Because of the dragons. They're going to be very important to win this matchup. We do need to put him to three. I guess I'll take another damage here. Ooh, that's good. Because now I can combo for free and get it back. Or he's going to attack me, not attack me. He should attack me, yeah. But I get to combo here. Ooh, wait. That's even better. Right? Yeah, that's even better. Place at the top. Ooh, that's amazing too. Okay, so this is what we're going to draw. But we're not going to need it immediately, are we? Maybe. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, I think I want to draw the 2k first. Then this one. Wait, no. 
then we play that one for free and then we draw this one right we play draw play draw no no we need to play next turn no but we can play it after the kaido so we can get rid of big mom ah uh, kind of difficult actually play draw play draw let's leave it like this and then we'll play something for free here And we'll definitely just uh, attempt to deal damage here. I also want to play something else. Yeah, I need to deal the damage here. So I need to go out the leader because I need to put him to at least two. So the heal can not put him to three. That would be really bad for me. He's going to play a big mom. So I have to take a life. Oh, that's terrible. Trash one life. Because if no, he's going to be able to... Um... Wait, can we play 10 drop next turn? I think so, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So yeah, this is later. Let's just bottom deck this. This is not good. No 2k counters there. And then we attack for uh, s 5... And then six. And then we'll play this one and get back a 2k. Uh, Starts to get very difficult here because he's going to play a nine drop KO something or heal himself. And that's not that's not good because I need to play the dragon. Although, if your blocker survived, you can still play the dragon, depending on what happens. But I do need to play a dragon here. To be able to win. Oh, uh, 2k counter. If he wants to attack it, that's fine. He will attack it, but... I will not be intimidated here. And I need to block. Sadly. I need to block this one. Because I need to be able to... I need to be able to play the dragon. And I need to attack like three times as possible. If that's what it needs to take to... To be able to deal at least one damage. So I'm attacking four times so I can, he at least takes one damage. Is that important? Because if he defends here, he's going to be able to... Uh, I'm not going to be able to play the Kaido, and that's terrible. He's going to attack me. Oh, he wants to play a pair of Sparrow, too. He's going to attack one of my cards. Okay, he's going to attack the blocker, which is fine. Why did he need to attack the... Well, I guess whatever. Attack this one. Attack this one. Okay, that's all I wanted. That sucks, but... I'll take it. I guess. That's a good play, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I guess Tendra Big Mom is coming, I would assume. Uh, combo to the... Oh, I should have combo with Boa. That's a mistake. Uh, combo 2. Ah, uh, that sucks. I guess I need to uh, combo a Big Mom. Then attack this one. 
attack this one. And attack this one. I think he's gonna... Oh, Jesus Lord. I mean, hopefully this is enough to go for game, but I don't think so. He's gonna play a second big mom and there's gonna be three life and a bunch of life and... It's gonna be really difficult. Still really a really bad matchup for us. They just get to burn our life, so... It makes it so difficult for us to, to win. The moment they play the big mom, it's good. But, and we have to go second, because going first is so bad for us, too. Uh, he's going to play a 10-drop. He plays a 10-drop, and I have to combo the second 10-drop. Is that what it is? If if I if I don't combo to this one, then I don't have an out to a second big mom. Uh, can I combo a 10-drop, even? Yeah, I can. So it is comboing out of this one. Eh? I'm trying to go for game next turn. Because I think he's going to go 10 drop, burn me, attack me, or the Jinbe or myself. And then he's going to be at 3 life. And if I don't have an answer for this, then um, I, I, that's the only, my only option is going to be attack like 10, 10, 12, 12. And hopefully he doesn't have enough counter. Which I highly doubt it, but maybe. Some, sometimes they don't have that much counter, but... He's been able to do Shirahoshi, so it's still very unlikely that I'm going to win here, but. I guess we could play blockers. One blocker? That's kind of bad. He's thinking if he's going to go for the big mom or what he's going to do here. Oh, he could try to attack the Kaido with like everything. But that would be good for me because then I can play a third Kaido attack the leader and then win like if he att attempts to just attack the kaido uh he's trying to do the big mom again yeah no we have to we're trying to go for game here exactly i i knew there was no other option and um oh, i guess i drew the other option but i'm just attacking for 9, 11, 12, 12. Hopefully that's enough. And it's not enough. Uh, did he have enough? He had a Thunderbolt. He had a 1, 2, 3, 4. He had a way to tap my blocker or Thunderbolt it. So even that wasn't a really an option. No, it could have been because I would have let this one die and then attack the big mom, KO it. Uh, bottom deck the second one. No, I don't have a blocker. So it wasn't an option. Unless I combo out of the Karakuri. Did I have enough? No. Uh, he had one, two. And I had a 2k counter in, in, in deck. So one, two, three, four, five takes this one 12 12 he's able to a combo 112 yeah all right and for a final thoughts on this deck um i'm sad to say that this felt like a three star leader i think i i felt like i the deck felt lost a lot of power now like this set it didn't feel as good as it, it did before like it said one or said two uh even said three or set four like i i still thought the deck was decent on set four but now this set uh, has changed a lot for the meta and the decks are too fast or they can outpace you or they can out removal you and it doesn't feel as good anymore. It doesn't feel like a, a like a uh, like a tier one deck or like well like a tier two deck at least. Uh, it's more like a tier three deck, honestly, uh, which it feels really bad because I, I do like Flamingo a lot. But um, I think until they get more support or more Warlords that you can play or something that, that changes the deck a little bit, uh, the deck is going to lose, lose a lot of uh, uh, competitivity at least. But yeah, I mean, at least it's a deck that you can play. It's another option. Uh, but that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.